Oppenheimer is set to break new ground for renowned filmmaker Christopher Nolan. The biographical film delves into the complex life of J. Robert Oppenheimer, the visionary physicist known as the father of the atomic bomb and a staunch advocate against nuclear proliferation. Given the movie's commitment to authenticity, Nolan has had to employ some unique storytelling techniques to faithfully portray Oppenheimer's intricate journey, including his romantic involvement with Jean Tatlock, portrayed by Florence Pugh. While Oppenheimer's star, Cillian Murphy, has been instructed to keep plot details under wraps, he tantalizingly teased The Guardian about the film's romantic aspect. Murphy revealed that Oppenheimer will feature extended full nudity for both himself and Pug, as well as a sex scene, making it potentially the most explicit film in Nolan's illustrious 25-year career. The movie will also explore a weighty moment involving Oppenheimer's wife, played by Emily Blunt, although Murphy refrained from divulging further specifics. Here is a quote from Murphy on the subject. I'm under strict instructions not to give away anything. They put two actors in a room to see if there's any spark and have all the producers and director at a table watching. I don't know what metric they use, and it seems so outrageously silly, but sometimes you get a chemistry and nobody knows why. You can be immediately vulnerable and open and try stuff. There were moments where I remember saying, I couldn't have done that if it wasn't with. The Making of Oppenheimer, a challenge for Christopher Nolan. Oppenheimer presents a unique challenge for Christopher Nolan, even with his seasoned directorial expertise. Not only does it involve introducing a romantic element to a filmmaker known for his limited exploration of on-screen relationships, but it also demands exceptional artistic skill. Until now, Nolan's films have exhibited minimal romantic display and rarely ventured into explicit territory, with the exception of an implied sex scene in The Dark Knight Rises. Even instances of nudity have been restrained, such as the depiction of a female victim's body during an autopsy in Insomnia. Furthermore, Nolan has been adamant about minimizing the use of CGI in Oppenheimer, aiming to authentically recreate nuclear blasts and delve into the depths of Oppenheimer's psyche. Nolan has also employed innovative scripting techniques for Oppenheimer. Utilizing a first-person point-of-view script, he delves deeply into Oppenheimer's mind and captures his unique perspective of the world. Even the cast members experience scenes from Oppenheimer's viewpoint, adding a distinctive approach to the biopic genre. This distinctive method sets Oppenheimer apart from other World War II films, including Nolan's own Dunkirk. Another narrative technique Nolan employs is the deliberate shift from black and white to color in Oppenheimer. This transition serves to differentiate between objective and subjective scenes. Black and white represents the objective and historical reality, while color scenes convey Oppenheimer's personal perspective. It is a clever and thoughtful approach, showcasing Nolan's meticulous attention to detail and bringing Oppenheimer to life. For Nolan, Exploring romance alone was not enough of a test. He aimed to deliver a masterful cinematic experience with Oppenheimer. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. 